Hey there, this is Rebecca Mon, and I'm here to show you how to do two of the Greg Tang Tangy Tuesday puzzles. Digicross and Num Tanga. So we're gonna take a little quick look at Digicross. This is a um, one, or level one. So level two is a little more challenging. I couldn't get a level one without answers on it, sorry. Um, I pay for a subscription to level two, which is what we'll mostly use this year, this year. And your child will be playing these puzzles and completing them a lot um, for their great practice for many reasons. Um, this is probably the easiest for parents to understand because it basically just works like a traditional crossword puzzle. So the clues are down here. So you have to, we instruct the kids in class about a cross and down. And we do do these puzzles in class, so if your child is not does not understand how to do them at home, let me know because that means they're missing some instruction or they're not it's not um, connecting for them. And I would love to know that. So anyway, um, two acrosses, a blank has four sides, and the digicross puzzle gives them choices here. So square, you know, it's already filled in, but I'll trace over it anyway and we do discuss in class to cross out or check off as you go um, so and it's self checking because as they fill it in they if they make an error the next answer is not going to make sense so I think that's all we need for directions for digicross then we have numtanga which again we do a lot of class and if you'd like to go online your kids can practice it online at the gregtangmath.com website. So what you're doing here in these boxes, you're writing the matching value between adjacent cards. So think of this as a card with four boxes and children have to see what the numbers are in each box. So we've got two, four, nine. This is an empty 10 frame, so it's zero. And then this is the adjacent card. It has a six, seven, 20 and 2. So the students will be looking to see that 2 shows up in both boxes, a value of 2. So they'd write 2 here. Then I tell them the easiest thing to do is just go in order. So if you already know what this card is, look at this card or this card. So we've got 15, 6, 3, and this is a 10 frame with 9 dots in it. So it's 9. So, um, so we've got six with fingers and six here. Okay, it works the same going down, Just you just continue on with a pattern. So this card, nine, 20, one, and five, I bet you're answering them faster than me by now. So we have a nine with a 10 frame and nine fingers. Okay, um, and that's how this one works, the second grade puzzles we tend to take out the fingers a uh, finger representation and put in um, addition facts or subtraction facts so this one is num tanga and i also showed you digicross so i hope those help let me know if you have any questions thanks